there are quite a lot of things about hybrid working that work well for us and are really beneficial to our well-being. Um, having flexibility always makes people happier if they can have a flexible approach to their work and they can fit it into their life at home more easily. You know, if you're working from home and you've got, if, if you've got children or you've got dependents, their lives are really greatly improved by having the opportunity to do some hybrid working and be more flexible. Having more autonomy over your lives and freedom automatically makes you feel more in control. And again, that makes you feel better. Uh, working from home, people often find that they're less distracted. They can get their heads down and really work on stuff that they need a lot of concentration and focus for. Uh, whereas in the office, you can often be distracted by other people, by noise and, and not get the work done as efficiently. There are also some real cons to hybrid working and remote working. And one of the main ones is uh, our tendency to overwork when we work from home. We work longer hours. We don't get up for breaks. We don't stop for lunch breaks. So you can be sitting at your desk all day just thinking, well, I'm just going to get this done. I'm just going to do the next thing done. And you don't really give yourself any natural breaks. So you can work a lot harder and work a lot of overtime without really realizing. And that starts to leach into your home life. And it's when you have a a bad work-life balance that that can really lead to symptoms of stress and burnout. So you have to really watch yourself when you work from home. Uh, one of the other things is that although you may be able to get your head down and do a lot of work and concentrate, you don't have any social interaction and you can then really start to feel isolated. And if you do then have problems with stress uh, and situations that you can't deal with, you then feel very much like you're operating on your own and that you don't have the support to get you through it. And we know that you really need the support of colleagues and your manager to be able to get through situations. When you're working at home, you, you feel like you're on your own. Um, and managers also have that problem themselves because you know if you're a manager working from home you don't have contact with your team you don't know what they're doing you can feel a bit out of control and like you don't have a handle on everything you don't spot the signs of burnout in your team members you know you can miss it and somebody above working above you isn't going to see the signs of burnout in you so it all becomes a bit hidden and burnout's already something that's hidden and so remote working kind of facilitates a greater tendency towards burnout Thank you.